Shalom. First, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakahakwadas. Double honor to the elder apostles, the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Quick, a quick, quick, a quick Bible lesson on patience. Psalms 27, chapter 14, verse says, Patiently wait on the Lord. Be strong, be courteous. Wait on the Lord. Be patient. Psalms 27, chapter 14. In this day and time, we are to preach the word of the, of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and patiently wait on the Lord because he's prophesied to come back and save his elect and gather his elect. The best you can do is rehearse the righteous acts and be patient and be brave, be bold as a lion, and preaching the word best of your ability. What I strive to do by giving my diligence to make my calling and election sure. First, Second Peter, first eighteen, one and ten. Second Peter, first chapter, ten verse. Therefore, the, therefore, the, the, my, therefore, the brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And if you do this, you can never, you can never fall. The water you have about show me how shy. I'm learning scripture. I'm, try, I'm trying my best to memorize scripture, but the Lord is blessing me through the Spirit. To, uh, to, to memorize the scripture and, and teach me the best of my ability. Psalm 24, Psalm 27, chapter 14, verse. Be patient. Patiently wait on the Lord. Be courteous and be brave and wait on the Lord with patience. It's an old saying that says, Patience is a virtue. I know I said that kind of quick, but patience is a virtue. You, you got to be patient. And you gotta wait on the Lord because all things He's making everything happen today. The Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And you gotta be patient and you gotta wait on the Lord. And you gotta you gotta give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Doing the best of your ability by putting up these lessons. It's done through patience and faith. Psalm 27, chapter 14, verse. Be patient, be brave. And patiently wait on the Lord. It's a quick lesson. I mean, all you can do is wait and be patient. You can't rush the Lord. You can't, I mean, you, you got to just be patient. I know you're 20 and 21. It's the year of hastening the day of the coming of our Lord. Yahweh will buy some y'all shot. And this preaching of the word, it speeds up the process of the Lord coming back. So we got to be patient until the Lord come back. You see the signs happening in, through the news. You see the signs happening, and that should give you that should give you a lot of a lot of joy because the prophecies of the Bible are being fulfilled today. So the best you can do is uh, rehearse the righteous acts, strive to do the best you can do, be patient and wait on the Lord, and continue to put up video lessons and preach the word on the highways, hedges, street corner, and on the internet, YouTube. Watch the lessons, take notes, learn the, the Bible, learn the uh, interpretation of the, of, the, of the Bible, and show double honor to the elder apostles, a great millstone, who rule well and, and, taught us, and teach us, teach us on a daily basis by putting up video lessons that you can go to and research and, and learn the Bible from. Be patient, rehearse the righteous acts, be diligent, pray as much as as much as you can and worship the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Every day, best of your ability. It's a quick, it's a quick motivating. I don't know who's listening, but I pray that let's be edified and motivating to the hopeful next on the highway stage recording on the internet, YouTube every day. Shalom.